Yo, and hello, Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again with another Omo Tales. As you can see, I'm sitting outside. I just got back from the Guy Kingdom Hall because I think I mentioned it more than once. I was raised a Jehovah's Witness, so I go there every Sunday to worship Jehovah. But aside from that, let me tell you about what happened the other day. And yes, it's another train story. Also mixed with a bus story. So, first the train. So I'm on the train, right? The E train. Was it E or the C? No, no, actually it was the C train. I was on the C train and there was... Anyway, so I'm on the C train and there's this conductor lady. Like, she sounded so frustrated. I don't know what her problem was, but she sounded so totally frustrated when we i forgot what stop we were at but she i think it was hoyt i think it was hoyt or high street or one of them and she got so freaking mad oh butterfly i'm getting so distracted by everything out here that beauty butterfly that loves me so much anyway <laughs> i'm getting off topic but anyway she was so mad she literally yelled and was like what did she say she was like step in or get off the train it's your choice She's like, you're holding up the bus. I mean, I mean, not the bus, the train. I was like, yo, she literally, you can hear it over the freaking loud, I mean, the loudspeaker. She was screaming her head off. I'm like, okay, lady. I'm like, all right. But at the same time, I understand her frustration because people do that all the time on the train. They want to hold doors like people got all day. Once you get to the stop, get on the fucking train. If it ain't just stop, wait till the next stop and get off. That, that That's how it go. We not, we're not holding doors because you're holding up everybody else that needs to ride and need to get where they ought to go so i could understand her frustration with that but the way she yelled i wish i could have recorded it it was it was crazy she's like get on the train step in or step out i'll close the days i'm like okay lady either had a bad day or she just really hates her job i don't, I don't know but it was crazy it was like me and a lady and a man and some kids we all was just dying like what is her problem man I'm like, yo, this lady crazy just screaming at the top of her lungs to step in or get off the train. She was not playing with any of us. Well, I wouldn't say us. I was talking about the people that's going on the train. She was not playing with any of them. And continuing on, like, with the other stops, she sounded the same. She didn't yell like she did there, but she sounded exactly the same. She had that attitude in her voice like she's not playing, and she was not playing. So, yeah, that that lady was, was something. I hope I don't encounter her again. <laughs> But then, cut to the bus. I'm on the freaking Q49, right? And this freaking kid, now, people, this could be done a rant in itself. Mandy, if you're watching, this is a rant we're gonna do. Watch your damn kids on the train and the bus, please. Y'all need to watch y'all damn kids. Cause this kid yesterday, oh um, This kid, he had to be about I give him four, five maybe. Over here jumping around on the freaking seats. Just jumping like a maniac. Like this is a park. Jumping. And then he's coming in my personal space. And I, me being nice, I didn't want to say anything. Because I'm like, yo. Oh. His parent was, well his mother was sitting right across from me. I guess you can say. But she wasn't keeping an eye on him. And I just wanted to just slap the freaking crap out of him. Like, boy, if you don't sit the hell down, I'm going to knock you down. Like, geez, I don't understand that. And then when the, then when the kids, they want to play around on the trains and whatever, then when they get hurt, you want to go and sue the MTA like it's their fault that you're a negligent parent. Uh, no. It's called watch your damn kids. How about that? But, oh my God, really, you don't understand the frustration of how, how much I was holding my tongue back to say, boy, if you don't turn around and sit down now. Like, if your mother ain't going to discipline you, somebody is, because I'm getting tired of you. A little brat. Oh God, I love kids, but that one, I'm gonna do this to him, backhand him one good time, just bah, bah, right in his freaking face, get my damn nerves. But anyway, guys, yeah, that was about it. That was my Omo Tales part, duh. That's pretty much two, two Omo Tales in one. But the train with this crazy conductor lady, very frustrated woman, and on the bus, this bratty little brat that wouldn't sit the hell down. I want to snap crap out of. But yeah, anyway. Hope you enjoyed my latest Omo Tales. Sorry for all the distractions, but I am sitting outside, so there is a lot to see and 
a lot of noise and whatever so yeah just taking in some air I'm gonna continue to take in some air for a bit then I'm gonna go in and enjoy my Sunday so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching like comment subscribe for more Omo Tales and other com um, content on my channel I have a lot so stay tuned it's very greatly appreciated. I can't, I can't make the other heart sign because my hand is, is occupied right now. But I hope you do like, comment, and subscribe to my stuff. It's very, very much appreciated. I love you all. And until next time, this is Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying bye, guys.